大家好，欢迎收听午后女子会 Afternoon Girls Club， 我是雨杰，我是舒雨。今天呢，我们会开这个影音 podcast 的原因，是因为我们今天这个主题会用英文来做讨论，没错。所以开这个影音 podcast 也是、呃、我们会提供中文字幕给大家参考。对，那因为我们也不是，我们两个都不是英语系国家出身的人，所以我们只是觉得这个主题用英文聊的话，应该会很有趣，所以大家也不用觉得说这个音档可以拿来学英文或者什么的，纯粹就是一个很好玩的尝试这样子。对，希望大家不要抨击我们。对。<笑>就是用开放的心去看这个 podcast， 然后如果你觉得在理解上不知道自己理解的对不对的话，你就可以参考我们的中文字幕这样。虽然我们现在还没上字幕，也不知道是多么艰辛一段旅程啊。哦，对，对，但没关系，之后的事情之后再说。那反正我们今天这个主题会用英文做讨论，所以等一下我们会用英文名字互称对方。对，那先跟大家自我介绍一下，我是雨杰，我的英文名字是 Julie。那我的英文名字是 Andrea。那就开始喽，耶！ Hello everyone, welcome back to Afternoon Girls Club. Yay, I'm Andrea. I'm Julie. So this is our first ever English podcast, and I'm very excited. Yay! Also very nervous. Yeah. But we're we'll do our best. Yeah. Okay. So、um, today's topic is very interesting. It's something that I care about a lot, and it's self help, because I've been really interested in like self improvement for the past, I would say, three years. And I think the year I met Julie, I was like really passionate about it. So、yes. then we talked a lot about like、um, self help books and self help YouTubers, podcasts, or self help audio books, like all those good stuff. So I think today it would be really fun to share our journeys and maybe some of our self help tips with、mm-hmm. you guys. Okay, so to start this,、um, I just want to share that before I knew Andrea. Uh, I I think I've mentioned this before. I've never heard of anything about self help. I don't believe in self help.、Um, I think that's just bullshit. I don't need <laughs> that kind of stuff in my life. Doing just fine. But, really? Yeah. So after meeting Andrea, and she shared a lot of self help related content, and I just realized that it's not a bad thing.、Mm-hmm. And I actually enjoy listening to it.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm happy that. Now you like self help, but、um, my question is: you used to enjoy like a lot of、um, routine kind of related videos, right? Yeah, but I、And、never thought that was part of the self help. Oh, okay. Loop.、Mm-hmm. Right. So, because it's just like people vlogging about their lives. But don't those YouTubers talk about like taking care of yourself or having some me time? Me time. Yeah, like time for yourself. Oh, me time. Me time. Yeah. I don't think so, cause I used to watch like high schoolers' oh,、okay. uh, night or morning routines. So I was like, oh my god, that's so cool! They get to have like fancy snack、oh. after their school, and they get to have like a really relaxing bath time with their lush bath bath bump. <laughs> so yeah, I never really thought about that. Okay, so those videos are more about what they buy to make themselves feel better instead of like、um, meditation or reading certain books to make themselves feel more fulfilled inside. Yeah, that kind of stuff. I think I watched it when I was about junior year in the college. Hmm.、Mm, okay. So that brings me to my first chit chat topic.、Um, I just really want us to talk about like what kind of YouTube YouTube videos. Did we enjoy before,、mm-hmm. and what kind of content do we enjoy right now? So, how about you start first? Okay, so just like Andrea said, I used to enjoy a lot of routines videos,、uh, morning routines, night routines of high schoolers, college students,、uh, YouTubers. But like after watching over thirty of them, I started to feel like, oh my god, they're just like same content with different people in、yeah. it, and. It's just like they're they they say they're showing their real life, but it's not really real.、Mm-hmm. It's like they, they have an image of being a YouTuber. You have to live like this way. Yeah. And I just realized that all of that videos just telling me to buy certain products that, I could become one of them.、Mm. But I don't actually need it. Yeah. And I mean, cause they're, most of them are from the U.S. So the products they're using, I don't actually have access to them. So it becomes really hard, and your desire is hanging right there, but you couldn't fulfill it. 
Mm-hmm. Do you know what that means? Yeah. Yeah, it's like it, it's a really tough feeling, and you just feel, oh my god, I am inferior to them, and I I couldn't be like them because I don't have that kind of products they're using. Yeah. And that, that's actually a very toxic mindset. Yeah, I, I totally agree because mm-hmm. it's sort of like a culture. That yeah. you need to live a certain lifestyle in order to become a better person, and you cannot achieve that lifestyle just through um reading or um maybe doing yoga. It's something like you need to buy this thing from this brand, mm-hmm. or you need to go to this place, eat this kind of food. So it's more about buying things. It's mm-hmm. very commercial in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why um because I started to. I watched YouTube videos when I was in, uh, I I would say my freshman year, and I got into it really fast because I love fashion and makeup. So then I watched so many like fashion and makeup related YouTubers, but it got me buying so many so many um, makeup products, and now I kind of regret it. But you know, I think it's sort of like a process you need to go through. Mm-hmm. But um, after all these years, I realized that a lot of the videos are promoting. A lifestyle that most of the people cannot achieve, mm-hmm. and we buy things we don't need, which is really really bad because it's not environmentally friendly, and it's not good for our mental health because we feel like we always need more in order to feel better. But in reality, you don't feel better after buying tons of stuff. You need friends. You need, you know, just some me time. At least for myself, I think that helped me more than、um, retail therapy. I would say, yeah. I mean, what I feel really terrified about that kind of films is that with or without sponsorship, they're doing basically the same. Yeah. Like they are trying to tell you, they are trying to implant this brand into your head that this is a great brand that you should use.、Mm-hmm. But you have to have money to use that. Yeah. So, but sometimes you just don't need anything. Totally. Right. So,、yeah. like, um, after that kind of videos, right now I. Personally, enjoy more about storytelling、mm. or just like lifestyle sharing. Yeah. But without、uh, focusing on what kind of stuff they're using, or more like what they do to make themselves feel better.、Mm-hmm. I think that's a very big change in those kind of lifestyle videos I used to watch. Yeah, totally. Like same because now the videos I love the most are、um, people sharing their experience. Uh, for example, like their experience as a vegan or as a minimalist, or you know, just how to live like a productive life.、Mm-hmm. They just share their experience. It's not about being perfect. It's a- about taking actions. Yeah. You don't need to be like one hundred percent vegan, but like it's a really good process that you're trying to eat less meat, and I think that's good because those kind of videos are getting more and more popular, and I think a lot of young people are trying to live better. Lives because of those really influential YouTubers.、So mm-hmm. I think that's kind of a good trend. Yeah. Yeah. And I think right now,、um, content is what really matters when、mm-hmm. I seek out for videos. So I actually listen to more podcasts than I used to, and I mean, like I I actually listen to more podcasts than、uh, watching YouTube videos. Same. Yeah. Right. Because by listening to podcasts, you could just they they are constantly making content and telling you. What to do? But YouTube videos sometimes they could be lack of content. They're just showing stuff. Yeah. And that's not good.、Mm-hmm. So we both agree that now the things we focus more on is battering ourselves on the inside, right? I hope so. Uh huh. <laughs> But I have one question. So,、um, do you think it's、um, real that maybe have? Like having a good、um, hair mask or like good face mask on on yourself is going to make you feel better on the inside because I think some of that can be true、mm-hmm. to a certain degree.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what do you think about this? Like taking care of your skin or your body or you know dressing well to make yourself feel more. Okay. So for this topic, I have to be honest. I am. A lazy person,、mm-hmm. <laughs> so like my skincare routine is very easy. I don't use any face mask. I basically just apply toner and moisturizer, whatever I had.、Mm-hmm. Um, but just like you said,、uh, when I used to watch tons of makeup videos and、um, those makeup gurus sharing their skincare routines, of course that makes me want to buy more stuff. 
but I, I, I don't know. I just don't have that、um, temptation、mm-hmm. to buy stuff that I don't think that would be effective on me, because, I mean, my skin is a bitch. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe in any others people saying. So you don't want to take care, take care of your skin, or you have like your own method. I, I think I have my own method, but it's not a hundred percent workable.、Mm-hmm. Is that a word? Like it, it doesn't really work. All the it、time? doesn't. It, yeah, it doesn't work like a hundred percent. But I'm trying it, and I just feel like you just have to give your skin a rest、mm-hmm. instead of just trying new stuff every two weeks. Yeah, because you know, yeah. like their videos just come out every weeks with different products. Yeah. But for skincare, you should really just stick on one product for I'll say more than three months.、Mm-hmm. Then you will know if it's actually working or not. Yeah. So yeah, that's my opinion on skincare product. But for clothes, yes, I do think <laughs> buying beautiful clothes, like high quality clothes, would make myself happy.、Mm-hmm. But I don't go out that <laughs> often. So, so you don't need that many fancy clothes. Yeah, I I'm happy with what I'm having right now.、Mm, mm-hmm. Okay, I I totally agree with you on the on the skincare thing because I I think it's very important to、um, I don't know like、um, give your skin some time to rest instead of giving it a lot of different serum or different toners because it's just going to go crazy. I feel like you you're giving it so many different products and. It doesn't really know how to react, in my opinion. So、um, I don't really buy、um, hair masks or face masks, but、um, I do find yeah, fashion and makeup sometimes make me feel really, really great.、Um, especially when I put in the effort of like ma- making myself decent every single day, I feel like the process of putting on my makeup is really, really therapeutic.、Mm. Yeah. So I do agree to some degree. Sometimes buying things. Can lead to better lives. I don't.、Um, I don't want to say that, but like, if you r- truly love,、uh, let's say, fashion or makeup, then it can be really helpful. But、mm-hmm. you need to really know yourself. Yeah, I mean, the big like the whole point of it is to really know yourself. Yeah.、Um, I'm not saying I'm really like old enough to say this, but I just feel like、um, to reach our age right now. It's really important to know what you really like instead of what you just like. I want to try that, but I'm not sure how it's gonna look on me.、Mm. You, like you already know, you, you've tried a lot of things before, so you you should know what that kind of things look on you instead of you still have the mind thinking that that seems really interesting. I want to try it.、Mm-hmm. I mean, that's not a bad idea,、mm-hmm. but it's I get just, what you're saying.、Mm-hmm. It's like. Um, it's it's one of the good things of getting old. Like you know what looks good on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So why bother trying something that you already know would look bad? Yeah. But, like, <laughs> uh, take myself as a as an example. I really、mm-hmm. like trying new things.、Mm-hmm. So that for me is very enjoyable. But if for you, like trying new things can be really scary, then just don't. Like, just stick to what makes you feel beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we talked about how、um, commercialized those、um, YouTube videos were and are still still now today. Now I think we can share some self help tips that actually help us in daily lives. They might not be super unique or innovative, but I think it would be really beneficial to you guys if those tips actually help us. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. So um, I think the. First thing I want to share is listening to podcasts and audio books.、Mm-hmm. I think、um, that's very ch-、um, corny and cheesy to say like, oh, listening to audio books help you,、um, you know, getting rid of your phone. But that actually helps because one thing I noticed is that if you listen to music, you can still use your phone. You can check out your emails. You can talk to your friends. But if you are listening to like a podcast or online lesson or even an audio book. Then you basically have no, you know, you you have no space in your brain to talk to your friends because you are going to miss out on the content that is being played, you know. So I think that helped me a lot when I was super addictive to my phone, and now I I don't really check my phone that often. I would say yeah, because of podcast. Yeah,、mm. I think podcast is really really great. 
because you learn a lot and you don't need to like look at your screen because that's just face it like our eyes are tired all the time because we are constantly looking at our cell phones our laptops yeah so I think that's the first tip I want to give you guys mm -hmm. I mean for me my first tip I am 100% agree with Andrea what she said um, I personally don't use a lot of social media at least I think I don't mm -hmm. um, but I do scroll down Facebook whenever I feel bored mm -hmm. which is still a bad habit but I'm trying to get rid of it, but it's fine. I could just live with it, I hope. And um, But whenever I get off work, I would turn off my... I won't say turn off my phone. I would watch TV or just um, doing things on my laptop, but not logging into any social media. Like, I would log off on any kind of social media. So if people gonna reach on me, they have to call me. Mm. Or else I won't check any message. Oh, wow, that's that, that's actually great. Yeah, so I, I mean, some of our friends might think that why aren't you check your message? But I will check it before I go to bed. But besides that time, I just want to enjoy my time with mm. myself. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is meditation. And you guys probably have heard it like a million times from different YouTubers. And I first want to ask you, do you, are you a fan of meditation? I don't do meditation. <laughs> I can not do meditation. How do you do meditation? Don't uh, you think it's really hard? I mean, yeah, it's hard to not think about anything uh -huh. while you meditate. But I think it's a practice that you can get better and better each day. So what I do is that I put on like meditation music on YouTube. Mm. Just like random meditation music I yeah. found. Mm -hmm. And um, I will basically just try to calm myself down. I don't... I, I don't think it's like 100% meditation because I still have like a lot of thoughts in my mind. But I think it's a great way to just get away from all the work and all the like social media messages you get every single day. Like it's just great to be with yourself and think about things that actually matter to you. I think meditation is not just about um, having zero thought in your head, but actually have a like physical space and mental space to oh I don't I don't really know how to describe it but it's just like a quiet time so if you have millions of thoughts in your mind that's okay and it, you can even put on like a maybe a very relaxing audiobook and just listen to it and after that I think it will be easier for you to quiet yourself down mm -hmm. yeah I think you need some time to go from like re being really energetic to being like super calm and super in a zone. Yeah, I think that's really hard for me. But I'll, I don't know. <laughs> but like for those people, if you can do meditation like me, don't get panic. Um, you still have a lot of things to do and you'll find your way. Yeah. And so I, I want to share this method that I think is very effective for me. Mm -hmm. So I, like whenever I feel depressed or annoyed, I'll list down five things that I feel grateful about my life. Mm. Um, it doesn't have to be any special occasion. Like, it could just be, I am grateful that I have a house. I'm grateful I have a family who love me. I am grateful that I have a job could um, support what I want to do. You know, it could be something like very daily life. But by listing down those things, make me feel content. Mm. Mm. And I just feel happy. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I think journaling can be really helpful if you really put your mind into it. Because sometimes a lot of people try to journal because people tell them to do that. Mm -hmm. But if you don't list down those things because you are actually grateful, then I think it wouldn't help. Because mm -hmm. the, the practice is trying to make you think about all the good things in, in your life so that you feel happier. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you if you list down, oh, I'm so thankful that I have a home, but you're not actually... Um, thankful for the house that you are living in, then it's not going to be effective. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. like a lot of times people say, oh, you should be grateful because you have food. But, you know, we are never going to be satisfied. There are always things that we want to improve and we want to be better. So uh, maybe you can think about, oh, I actually have some friends who really care about me instead of thinking about food. Mm. Yeah, I think that's my method because um, obviously it's, it's such a privilege to have food and to have house, but 
um, you can focus on what you care about more at that moment. Maybe you care about your parents' love, your your job achievement. Yeah, I think that can be more helpful in a way. Yeah, that's true. Cause I feel thankful about my house right now is because we're just. Finish the renovation. I think my room right now is exactly what I want,、mm-hmm. so I'm very satisfied with it. So I guess that's why I'm so thankful and so grateful about that,、mm-hmm. and that's why it makes me happy. But I feel like if I was in my old bedroom,、um, and thinking about, I am so thankful for having a home. I would probably start thinking, but I still miss that kind of things would make my bedroom look like what I really want or. Um, I will feel so annoyed that oh my god, why can't my room just be what I want?、Mm-hmm. You know, it would just get into some a、uh, a really bad fictitious circle. Yeah, and, and it's it's really bad. I I get what you say. Yeah, that's what、mm-hmm. I mean. Like sometimes people say, oh, you should be thankful because you have a job. But like if you hate your job so much, then you cannot be thankful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what if someone just not satisfied with their lives? Um. Oh my god! Oh, that's hard one.、Um, what would you do if you are not satisfied with everything you, in your life? I would spend money to do something that would satisfy me. Oh yeah, well, that's a that's a that's a good tip. Like,、um, if you you are angry about everything around you, maybe go watch a movie that you really like. That at least you have one thing to be happy about. Yeah, that's true.、Mm-hmm. Like you have to make it happen. Yeah. Instead of just thinking about it. And doing nothing. Yeah, and at least you have yourself. That like at、uh, at least you are the one who wants to change things up. Mhm. Mhm. So, um, I think <laughs> that's that's all I can say because you are your own master. Yeah. So, do you have more tips to share or like self help journey? I mean, uh, about buying things. I actually have another thought that I want to share, is um, I find out that. I stop to seek out methods that claim to be fast. Is、oh. that making sense? Okay, so you you're not trying anything because someone say you can do it within three days. Yeah, like I I used to、um, search a lot of stuff like、uh, diet tips. If you doing this and you could lose、um, what like three kilos, yeah, like three、mm-hmm. kilos in five days or like. Even more like twenty kilos in two weeks and something like that,、um, or I would seek out like、um, to whitening my teeth in just fourteen days. I just realized that if you want to have a good result, you actually have to put a lot of effort in it instead of just thinking it would happen if I do what they said online. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I'm not just I'm not saying that's not effective, but it's just not for me. And the mindset too. Yeah. Like if you have this mindset, like okay, if I'm not losing weight within these two weeks, then I'm going to give up because it's not gonna work. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, Rome, really does not build in one day.、Mm-hmm. So, you just have to be patient and to、uh, understand yourself, like what kind of methods is really gonna work on you. And just go with it, and do not feel hesitate, or don't get easy influenced by others people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, my final conclusion is know thyself. <laughs> I、oh, think、yeah. this comes from Bible, I guess. Uh huh. Okay. So I think、um, it really describes what、um, our whole podcast is about. Like,、um, because throughout the season one, we talked about what we liked and what bothered us growing up. So I think it was a process of self discovery, and through that journey, we realized what we like, what we don't like, and what we actually care about. And、mm-hmm. and I think it's really helpful because you don't waste time on things that you thought can be beneficial to you because now you know what actually brings you joy. Yeah,、and、yeah. Um, like what we said in previous episode about um. Uh, what 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 was that episode about? About like the Marie Kondo. F- Method, like about、um, not buying too many things. Yeah,、um, I think it was season two, episode seven. seven? Yeah,、mm-hmm. I think it's episode seven, and we talked about why we stopped buying so many things. And I think it's such a good thing to be an adult because you are so sure about、um, how you can control your life. Yeah. So I think in conclusion, if you want to take action, the first thing you need to do is have some alone time and to think about. What you truly like, and maybe you can try to 
think about is your job like your dream job is there anything that you want to achieve or at least you can try to achieve some small goals and like this podcast is kind of like our small goal too yeah so maybe you can try to do something similar too and to help yourself have a better mindset yeah yeah i think um it's it's really important to amplify your personal strengths and know your problems but do not try to beat them just to know they are there and try to live with them mm. mm-hmm. and i think that's 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 it yeah Oh, and be happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys find this podcast episode um, somehow helpful or, I don't know, enjoyable in a way. And um, this is our first attempt in making a English episode. So we are definitely not perfect. And we are a little bit nervous because we, we are not sure if this is going to be helpful for you guys. But yeah. anyways, we did it. And I'm proud. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so just like what we always say, it does not cost you anything to subscribe to our podcast, to listen to our podcast and make it into one of your self-care routine. Yeah, <laughs> and if you want to share your self-care journey, feel free to send an email to afternoongirlsclub.gmail.com. No, at gmail.com. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or leave a comment or give us a five stars review on Apple Podcast. Yeah. So I guess that's the end of our episode. Yeah. If you made that five star review, I would put you in one of my grateful things. Yay. Okay. So thank you for listening. Okay. Hope you have a lovely day. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, bye, bye.